Hey guys, welcome back to the course. Okay, so in this lecture, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the framework that we talked about in the last lecture. Remember the five S's, strategy, scope, structure, skeleton, surface. And um, we're gonna take a theoretical idea we're going to use that theoretical idea, and I'm going to show you how you could, on a scratch pad, on a Microsoft Word, um, fill that out uh, for yourself. Um, and I'm going to show you the usefulness of um, putting this on paper and using that as a way to visualize, organize um, the entirety of your idea. So keep it completely simple. Honestly, I'm one of those people that likes to go light on documentation um, and go heavy on actually doing it. Um, and I know that is sometimes a problem and some people disagree with it, but that's personally the strategy that I've seen work the best in terms of turnaround time um, and ROI, what you put into it and what you get out of it. So all you need to do is pull open, say, Microsoft Word. If you don't have Microsoft Word, honestly, you could do this in Notepad. You could do this in Evernote. Um, anything you have, you could do this on a piece of paper if you want to. Honestly, I just like to type because it's a lot easier. Um, but this is the way that I've structured it out. Um, our idea, you obviously don't need to put that, but you can put at the top what it is that you're talking about. That's helpful because if you're doing uh, multiple ideas, you can keep track of them. But then I just wrote out each individual section right over here. Um, and it's pretty simple. So um, just to go over these one more time to make, you, make sure you really understand this. Strategy is the high level uh, discussion about what is the hypothesis that we're testing, what is it that we're trying to plan out to do, you know, who's going to use it, roughly what are the goals that we, we would try to uh, complete by making an application um, or making a website. Um, and then scope is where we then go and list out all of the things that we think that our idea or application needs. Now, you don't need to get every single thing on there, but this is the exercise where you just kind of think of everything you could possibly put into it and then try to shave back to the point where you find a feature set that you're happy with. Now, structure and skeleton are a little bit confusing. Those two are similar um, in that they deal with wireframing. Structure's a little bit uh, lighter. You're not doing a huge deep dive. What you're doing in structure is more or less figuring out roughly where things go um, and you know, roughly like over here, I think the te you know, this should be the area where you log in and this should be the area where you see the photo album and uh, or maybe over here is where you input your information. Here's where the form should be, things like that. That's structure. That's where we focus primarily on things like information architecture. Remember that term that we went over in the previous lecture? Um, and it's really very loose. Now, when you get into skeleton, that is where we get a little bit deeper and we start placing text, we start placing image holders, start placing buttons. And that's where your wireframe goes from a really rough sketch to something that um, looks more like a polished low fidelity wireframe. Now, Surface is something that we don't, again, cover in this course, but what Surface ends up being is that you take what you created in Skeleton and you get it professionally designed. Mm -hmm. 